Hi, this is Ellen from The Chili Dog, and today I'm going to show you how to do a double lifted increase, like the one that I'm using here to shape the toe of my caretaker socks. I like this increase because it's both pretty and functional. This is a vertical double increase, which just means that two stitches are added with each increase, and the stitches are increased up one single vertical column here. To make the increase, you basically work three stitches into one stitch. You do a knit one below, knit one through the back loop, and then another knit one below. So I'm gonna show you two ways to knit a double lifted increase. Both create the exact same increase, but mechanically they're slightly different. One uses a crochet hook and one does not. Before we begin, if you enjoy our videos, consider joining the pack and becoming a member of the chilidog.com for ad free access to our entire learning library, priority support, and more. First, let's do the crochet hook method. You'll want to use a crochet hook that's about the same size or even slightly smaller than your knitting needles. So, to make the increase, I want to knit one below, knit one through the back loop, and then knit one below this next stitch that's on my left needle. So first let's do the knit one below. And to do that, you just take your right needle tip and insert it into the stitch that's one below, right through the center of the stitch and through. Wrap your yarn knitwise and pull it through and you've increased one stitch. The next stitch is knit one through the back loop. So instead of coming through the front loop like we normally would to knit, we're going to go through the back loop of the stitch and wrap the yarn knitwise and pull it through. And you can drop the stitch off the left needle at this point. Now we need to knit one below through that same lower stitch that we did before. And if we do it in the same way by inserting our right needle tip through that stitch, when we pull back our needle, it's likely that we're going to drop these stitches off the right needle, and that would be bad. So instead, what you can do is get your crochet hook, and you're going to use that hook to go through that same lower stitch as before. So insert your crochet hook through. Wrap your yarn around knitwise and pull the loop through. And of course, we can't just leave that stitch on our crochet hook. So let's put it onto our knitting needle. And as you're doing that, you just want to make sure that the right leg of the stitch is at the front of the needle and the left leg, which is attached to the working yarn, is at the back of the needle. And there we've made our first double lifted increase. So now I'm ready to do my next double lifted increase. And I'm gonna use the same combination of stitches. I'm gonna do a knit one below, knit one through the back loop, and then knit one below the next stitch. But this time, instead of using a crochet hook, I'm actually gonna use my left needle tip. So first the knit one below, insert the right needle tip, through the center of that stitch that's one below the one on your needle. Wrap knitwise and pull it through. And then knit one through the back loop. Again, we're going through that back loop. Wrap the yarn and pull it through. And again, you can drop the stitch off your left needle. Now we need to knit one more below into the same lower stitch. So this time, instead of using a crochet hook, just take your left needle and insert it right through the center of that same lower stitch. And now you can knit through that same lower stitch. And you end up with the exact same looking stitch as you did with the crochet hook method. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a double lifted increase, both with a crochet hook and without. And if you did, make sure to like this video and share it with your friends. Until we stitch again, happy knitting.